X-rays are a one-plane view of an area of interest, and a CAT scan creates a three-dimensional image that allows us to look for small, subtle chip fractures and other diseases. The CT scan historically required general anesthesia because it took so long. The Toshiba Aquilion that we have is really fast, and so we only have to sedate most patients. We give a little rotation, make sure that the elbows are identical in position when they are imaged, which allows us to compare one elbow to the other, looking for disease on both sides. There's a laser device that is used to mark the exact center of the joint, and we'll start imaging shortly. The patient slowly moves through the imaging center, and it collects the images. For this dog, the entire elbows have been imaged in about six to eight seconds. Here's the images. It just passes the patient through. What you're seeing on the top are the bones of the radius ulna coming in, and they're going to get to the elbow. On the bottom is the dog's chest. So what you can see is that we've created a three-dimensional image now of just the elbows. We've been able to remove any other bone and soft tissue, and now we can look at this in any plane that we want. We're looking for a fragmented coronoid process, which is a chip fracture off of the ulna. And these fractures are often one to two millimeters, sometimes half a millimeter, and so impossible to image with any other than the CT. There's the chip right across there, the hardened bone. The scan confirms that there is a chip fracture on both sides prior to going in surgically. This dog will then have a arthroscopy to go search the joints and make sure everything is clean and clear and remove the fragment and coronoid process. We are the only center that does arthroscopy in this area. We also are the only center that has a CAT scan, so we combine both CT scan and arthroscopy for improved visualization and treatment in your pet.